This coffee doesn't doesn't taste store bought, is it? I I grind my own beans, yeah. Yeah, Randall is, is very particular about his coffee. And the United Nations has released a key report on climate change after a delay on approval. And that report details the losses and the damages as a result of climate change and the actions that can be taken to combat it. Ginger Z is here. She is not just the chief meteorologist. She's also the managing editor, the editor of the ABC News Climate Unit. And she's got a full page of notes on this new report. We need a quantum leap in climate action to combat what we've done. Warp speed is what we need to move at to make this happen. And of course, we're talking about being nowhere close to the Paris Agreement's goals. And I mean, we're on track in some places saying two plus degrees at least. Um, you're seeing this graphic right there. That's the current path we're on. The green and then the blue is the, the serious right turn we'd have to take to make it back to 1.5. That's before pre-industrial levels for our greenhouse gas emissions. And you're all saying, OK, but 1.5 degrees Celsius doesn't sound like a lot. What does it mean to me? Well, here they put it in human terms. So as we warm, a baby born in 2020 is going to feel the impacts in a high emissions scenario to the point of, say, going to 4 degrees Celsius, where water and food scarcity would be widespread. We would see the potential for uh, you know, people to have problems, not just with groundwater, but with, of course, natural disaster and those increasing. This is such an enormous problem, Ginger, mm -hmm. that it is kind of hard to not see these graphs and feel a little bit helpless. Yeah. Obviously, we need to do something, but we need to do a lot. I think the UN and the IPCC would say, please feel the opposite. Right. Please feel like this is the change. We're telling you, hey, there's still a chance. Um, and hey, if you care about animals, there's something here for you, too. If you want to make change, biodiversity and the risk of species loss, if we add two or, you know, 1.5 to 4 degrees, you can see, or 2 degrees in the very bottom, that increases it. Every increment, and this is what should motivate you, I hope. You are changing climate now as a new climate report from hundreds of the world's top scientists issues a dire warning. Today, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change published a summary filled with years of research from every corner of the globe, compiled since the Paris Climate Accord in 2015. In recent years, scientists found temperatures have stoked destructive storms and flooding, crop killing heat waves and deadly droughts as well. Researchers say urgent and sustained action is critical this decade to prevent catastrophic consequences. As global temperatures climb, the last eight years of record-breaking heat will end up being the coolest in a generation's time, even if planet warming fossil fuel emissions drop quickly. Welcome to the news hour. Scientists warn today that climate change is warming the planet to the point where it's causing irreversible damage in some parts of the world. The new report from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, found that within a decade, the world is likely to miss its goal of holding global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. If or when the planet reaches that level, scientists say Earth will pass tipping points that will lead to catastrophic environmental damage, including dangerous sea level rise, entire species going extinct, and even greater suffering in many nations especially the poorest. To the news hour, that is strong language from Antonio Guterres there saying humanity is on thin ice, the climate time bomb is ticking. This is about as dire and urgent a report and a warning as we've heard. Why now? Current policies have us on a trajectory for warming for 3.2 degrees Celsius, and that would be catastrophic. And so any action that we do needs to be at the speed and scale to be able to meet the urgency of this crisis. In other world news today, the United Nations has published a landmark report on climate change today. Well, to unpack some of the findings with us is France 24's Shirley Sitbon, who did obtain an advanced copy of the report. Shirley, just tell us, from your point of view, what do you think the big takeaway is from this? Well, there are many takeaways, and I guess the main idea is the situation is getting more and more complex and complicated to resolve because many countries have not abided by the pledges they've made uh, throughout the years uh, since the COP21 uh, in 2015. And 
what this uh, report says, it's actually the fourth uh, installment of the sixth assessment that uh, uh, the uh, IPCC makes every eight years. The idea is to get uh, all the information, uh, the scientific information from across the world. And what they say is that biodiversity and climate change and human activity and pollution, they're all uh, intertwined, all interdependent. and. Our future depends on biodiversity, and it's all it, basically it all revolves around what we do, our future. And we can't do anything. That's what the report says. It says, yes, the situation is more and more dramatic, more and more difficult to resolve, but we have all the know-how, all the means, all the money, all the funds. What we need, basically, is for governments to act, to invest uh, so that we pollute less, we emit less, uh, to invest in technology that will absorb carbon dioxide, uh, and also give incentives and rules to companies and to those who pollute, because everything uh, goes uh, together, as uh, we have said. Extreme weather conditions uh, will get more extreme. You've said it. The study shows how this will evolve. For example, uh, dry areas will be more and more dry, and areas with uh, great amounts of water and extreme events, well, this will become more common. The, there are maps that were released showing that.